Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I am in my backyard. In fact, this is uh, the door that goes from my studio into the backyard. You may have caught in previous videos uh, that I have mentioned that my studio is just a room that I built back there in the, in the garage. And um, the reason I'm out here is because I plan on spending a lot of time out in my backyard with my family this summer. That plane, what? Anyway. So we have been kind of taking back the backyard here and I wanna just talk briefly about that. So something I wanted to just kind of interject here to kind of put some logic behind some of the things that we're doing here is that we've got a 14 year old autistic son. He's nonverbal um, and, and, and is a flight risk to a certain degree. Uh, if somebody is nice to him, shows him candy, food, whatever there's a decent chance that he may just go off with them. And so that's obviously as a parent, very, very frightening. And that's why we're wanting to get this backyard set up in such a way that he's got a safe private place to play and, and make noises and just be, you know, a, a, a child. That, that's what he is. And he deserves that opportunity. And we've never really had the, 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 the resources to take over the backyard. We've lived here 10 years. And uh, after my hospitalization in 2016, it's really taken us a long time to recover from that and get to a point where we could take over the backyard and make Make it uh, uh, an entertaining space for ourselves, our friends, our kids, that sort of thing. So recently, uh, to get to the point of this video, um, you know, recently I made a video about the Synology uh, DS923 Plus that Synology sent over uh, for me to review and share with you guys. And after that review, they reached out and asked if I would be interested in reviewing a couple of their new cameras that are gonna be released in North America here very, very soon. And so I've already got one uh, right there uh, that you can see, that is the BC 500 that's been up and running on my on my network for the last couple of weeks and that's what I want to talk about in this video. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is the the right here, that's the door. That's my studio in there. Um, and of course, right up there is that uh, that Synology BC500. Um, and it gives me a really, really wide shot at 110 degrees of a viewing angle uh, horizontally. Uh, it does a great job of capturing almost everything in my backyard. Um, and that, that's been really, really great. But uh, there are some angles that we can't catch because of, of where it's located. So what we're gonna do uh, over here, I've already run uh, the, 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 the ethernet cable you can see I've drilled a couple of holes about one going up to the camera that's already there and one going down and all the way across uh, over to that area right there so let's take a quick look at that okay so here we are on the other side of the trampoline and if we pan right up to there there is uh, an outdoor rated uh, cat 6 cable that just that's going to go up there I've already got the holes pre-drilled uh, that's not going to really matter too much but I'm going to put another camera right there that will effectively kind of point this direction, let me change, oh, wrong way. Uh, that's gonna kind of capture more of this and of course more of the trampoline, that sort of thing. Uh, I know this all still looks like trash. <laughs> We've got ground covering on the way. Uh, this is still a work in progress, but uh, we wanted to be able to make sure that whether the kid is out there in, where the pool is gonna be out here or on the trampoline, or even if he's sitting you know, out by the fire, he likes to just go out there and hang out and, uh, and whatnot, read his magazines, that sort of thing during the day when there's no fire. But we wanna make sure that no matter where he is in the backyard, uh, when he's playing and, and doing his thing, we can keep an eye on him to make sure that he's back here and is safe and hasn't been hurt. And, and for the most part is actually still here. All right, so this is the star of the show here. Of course, this is the BC500 from Synology. There's also a TC500, and basically the difference between them is this is bullet style, and the other is turret style. So the BC500 has an image sensor of one over 2.7 inches, and has automatic day and night switching, and it manages that nighttime viewing using IR, as you would expect, and that IR has a max, or has a wavelength of 850 nanometers, and a max IR distance of 30 meters, so almost 100 feet. It has a fixed focal length of 2.8 millimeters and a field of view uh, horizontally of 110 degrees and 56 degrees vertically. To speak just a bit more about that nighttime viewing, it has an uh, aperture of f1.8 for really great low light imaging. It has a max resolution of 2080 by 1620 at 30 frames per second. Now this does have a microphone so that you can listen to what's going on outside and even use that microphone and the audio out there to trigger different events. However, there is no two 
two-way communication on this. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, this is more of a, a commercial product versus uh, you know a residential product. So uh, that's probably why they left out the two-way communication. It also does support up to 128 gigs of onboard storage via micro SD, and it can be powered by PoE, which is what I'm doing, or via a 12 volt one amp DC power adapter that is not included. It is IP67 for weather resistance. So putting it out in the elements shouldn't be an issue. It is NDAA and TAA compliant. Also has a uh, reach WEEE and ROHS compliancy, uh, as well as several other certifications. So now that we've kind of taken a look at the camera itself and, and talked about some of the specs and that sort of thing, uh, what I want to do now is actually just go get it uh, mounted to the side of my house, uh, get the, the ethernet cable kind of cleaned up and tidied. We'll take a look at that once that's done. And then we'll come in and we'll take a look at uh, the, the, the Synology software for, for the cameras and that sort of thing. We can talk about the, the process of adopting the camera. So I'm gonna go get that camera installed and then we'll come back and, uh, and we'll take another look at more of this information. up on the chair, there we go. So right here, I'm going to click this in. And hey, there we go, now we've got a blue light. That's good, we'll give that a second, do its thing. Make sure that's okay, so now it is, it's doing a thing, that's good, it's booting up. We're good here, I'm gonna tighten this up when I have two hands. But let's go back in and take a look at the uh, computer screen. Okay, so I wasn't sure if anything was gonna pop up here but what I'm gonna do is come up here where it says add. It's searching for cameras right here. Right there is the one that's already up and running where it says added right there. What I wanna do is click here and click next. And instead of calling this BC500001, I'm gonna call this uh, poolside, like so. Storage will be surveillance. That is uh, what I set up on that DS923 specifically for this. I'm going to click authenticate. And this is a username and password that I had set up previously. Uh, so I'm gonna go in like so and click authenticate. There we go. So now we've got our status is good. Uh, of course, we, we can see what's going on here. It's not the angle we want at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. I want to, <clears throat> there, there's three different options here. As you can see, a quick setup uses just the, the default surveillance station settings to add cameras, a complete setup where you can walk through individual settings. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Um, we'll come into here. We can choose our video format, our audio format, our resolution, which is 2080 by 1620 at its high quality. You can also set a frame rate. Um, I, I like 30, I could probably get away with 20 if I'm being completely honest. Uh, bitrate control, uh, you can say constant, uh, you know, you can set your bitrate or you can leave it variable, whichever you wanna do there. You can set a balanced resolution, which um, I guess you could do that if you needed to, but I'm just gonna leave all of this like it is. And the reality is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back uh, and I'm just gonna say, copy the settings from Fireside and click next. Authenticated cameras one, copy source Fireside. Cool, all that looks really, really good. So we're gonna click done. We're gonna give this just a second to, to pop up. Uh, it says it's processing here. Up here it says poolside, configuring, activating, and we'll give this just another second. And then hopefully uh, here very soon, once this is done activating, we'll be able to see what's going on here. And there we go. So now if I click play right here, do you see how clear that is? That's bonkers. I think the next step for me will actually be to open the uh, the DS camera app on my phone, go back out there and make sure that I get it adjusted exactly where I want so that I can keep a better eye on this half of the backyard. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, we're back in the studio. Uh, hey, there's, there's, a, there's a little squirrel down there kind of hanging out, causing mischief, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> so uh, this is kind of what the, the footage looks like again. It's just, you can zoom in and, and just, or if you wanted to, you can say, you know what, I really only, I'm really only concerned about that area right there. And it will just zoom in based on that. Of course, you can zoom back out. You've got options to do manual recordings if you need to uh, set, a, set aside a, a, you know, a specific thing. You wanna make sure that you get this absolutely right. You can take pictures, you can turn the volume, uh, you can mute it, you can turn it up and down, that sort of thing. All of that is there. Uh, of course, up here at the top right or top left hand side, rather, we can see uh, our current bit rate, which is about eight megs, which is great. 
Um, I will say this is probably overkill. If I'm being completely honest, uh, eight megs is probably overkill with the you know the 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 30 frames per second that I've got this set up at right now. Um, but really, I just I want the best possible experience here. So if we come back uh, here, we can see both of the cameras that are available there. Uh, if we come over here to to this uh, the the main dashboard area, we can go to the monitor center. I actually haven't messed with this too awful much just yet. Uh, so we've got fireside, let's put poolside. Can we do that? Can we do that? Can we swap those? I'd like to swap those. There we go. So now we can kind of keep tabs on both of uh, these cameras side by side if we wanted to do that for whatever reason. And let's actually exit out of here. Uh, we'll save it, that's fine. Now, the one thing I wanna note here is that with the current settings that I've got, uh, basically all of the resolutions and everything maxed out, over the course of about the last two weeks, uh, you can see that I've used one point, almost 1.4 terabytes of hard drive space. If we, if we open this up a little bit, we can kind of see all of, all of the additional information as far as video format, uh, audio format, uh, recording, or the, yeah, the recording storage, where that's gonna go. And here you can see I've got it limited to 30 days. Now, chances are, in fact, I've already talked to my wife about this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit. Recording, there we go. Keep files within 30 days. I'm gonna change this to 14. Uh, on both of those, um, and I'll and and I'll just leave the the storage empty. That's fine. Uh, of course, you know you can you can do recording storage. You can add storage uh, if you've got additional uh, options in here. You can come into add, add storage, mount remote storage. However, you want to handle that. Um, let's close out of there. I think the 14 days is going to be good for what I want to do there. So I'm gonna click save there. And here we can see uh, almost instantly, uh, surprisingly enough, it already deleted 300. Oh, now it's back. That's very strange. I'm gonna have to look into that. But now that we're here, let's actually come into there and click edit. We're going to edit, and I could have just copied settings, but recording, we're gonna set that again to 14 days and click save. I don't think I'll need anything beyond that. I will give this just a second there. It's thinking. There we go. And here we can see already, um, you know, we're using half a gigabyte. So 500 megs on what it's doing. It's reactivating here. It looks like it's already deleted, possibly. Uh, 300 gigs of old footage, more than 14 days old. So I love that. Um, so that's how easy it is to, to use this kind of the, the, the software here. Um, let's actually, let's actually take a look in here. Um, let's open, oops, let's open this up. What I really like about this is, so if I right click, I can click bookmark, I can click download. This is what I wanna take a look at. Uh, if I click download, I can say, uh, I can give it specific time frames, and I could say, let's do like 11 o'clock to 12.02. So just over an hour of footage here. I can password protect this if I want to. I'm not interested in that right now, but what I'm gonna do is click download and it's gonna take just a couple of seconds here to process the, the time frames that we're looking for. And just that quickly, it found the footage it needed, it compiled the MP4 video, and is now downloading it to my, uh, my local computer here. And um, for it to be able to do it that quickly, uh, blew my mind the first time I did that when I was doing some testing. Absolutely love how quickly it did that. Now, this would be downloading faster if uh, both the 923 that I'm using for storage and my Minis Forum PC both had uh, like a, a two and a half gig. The, my Minis Forum has two and a half gig, but the DS only has one gig. So if I were to upgrade these both to 10 gig, that would have been bonkers fast to download that file. But now if I open this up, Hey, look, there's me starting this video. Um, and you can kind of see what I'm doing there and, and, and not really having any clue how this video is gonna go. Um, but you know, we can, in fact, you can actually even watch the sun move across the sky there. You see that shadow change just like that. And of course we've got an hour or one hour, one minute and 46 seconds that it, that it compiled and downloaded just as quickly as you saw a moment ago. One of the things that I appreciate is that it can send you notifications for motion, sound, or tampering. So if it detects somebody messing with the camera, you can be notified of that happening. And to take that a step further, it can also kind of bookmark different events in your timeline with different colors, letting you know if there's people or vehicles or sound or whatever the case happens to be for the notifications that you set up for your needs. These, again, 
these are geared towards us, uh, small, medium, large businesses and consumers who are looking for uh, probably one of the better options that they can get for home surveillance without the possibility of, of Wi-Fi interference and, and the lag associated with that that I've experienced myself after having tested several different uh, Wi-Fi surveillance systems. So uh, I will be picking up two more of these uh, out of my own pocket. Um, and I will have links to everything in the description. Currently, these are not available in North America, I believe, until May 10th. I believe that's what uh, what my guy at Synology told me anyway. Once I have uh, links for everything, I will put everything in the description down below uh, so you can go look at them and get more information for now. But when they're available, I'll make sure to update the description so that you can uh, also pick one of these up or two or five or however many you need for your setup. So uh, hopefully you found this video uh, informative. Uh, thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. I want to thank Synology for, for sending these cameras over and letting me have a, a kind of a first look at them before they're available on the market. Also, I wanted to mention that uh, Lawrence Systems did a video on these a while back um, and kind of a brief overview like we've done here. Also, um, NAS compares, I believe, did a, a, a more of a deep dive on the hardware and the software and that sort of thing. If you want more information about that, definitely check out their videos. I will have them linked in the description down below so you can check those out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video.